Hello, I'm Cooper and I'm doing my demonstration of knowledge on the lava lamp light. The lava lamp has been something you've seen tons of times before. The thing was, you never realized the amount of science involved. In this picture, it shows, shows the solution with the bubbles rising to the top of the layer of the oil. This, cha this change with the alka with the alka seltzers, which made the bubbles rise, was a physical change. As the lava lamp part was forming, this was making a chemical change. Everything but the carbon dioxide, which was the bubbles forming, everything else was a physical change. The water in the lab was a molecule and a compound because H2O is both a compound and a molecule because every compound is a molecule. H2O is also an element because of hydrogen and oxygen. It is also part of the periodic table because hydrogen is element number one and oxygen is element number two. The solvent would be the water, which is a liquid and turned green when putting in the food dye. With this experiment as a whole, out of all the liquids, the least dense was the oil, which why it was the highest to the top, and the water slash food coloring was the most dense. In the lab, when the reaction happened, there was a quick solubility. The water that was in the lab is all of these. It is a pure substance. It is part of the periodic table which I said with the hydrogen and oxygen, it's an element, and they're both compounds. And this picture shows the two oil and water being separated. Both of the mixtures were in this lab. The heterogeneous mixture was part of it because the combination of water plus oil at the start shows how it was a heterogeneous mixture. When the oil settles, it was a homogeneous mixture because of everything that had happened and how the oil had a, like a suspension from the water. This overall lava lamp lab was very interesting now that I know more about science and all these words that I can talk about in just this single lab. Words like compounds, molecules, solvents, solutes, solubility, density, just all these words that you never think would think of when you were using this lab. It just makes me think all the other things in science, because science is all around us. We just there's tons of other words to describe certain things in science, like just every day outside, you can use these words if you really think closely. Science is everywhere. And this was my demonstration of knowledge about the lava lamp and lava lamp lab. So I hope this helps you learn more about science and how you can get involved in seeing science every day.